This is one of the cutest things that has happened in a long time. But uh, my grandpa had sent me a birthday card and um, apparently it got returned to sender and then we ended up getting it from that address and not knowing we had it. And this was from uh, 2009 and this is when we lived on Dock Street in Tacoma, Washington. We had a a yacht moored in uh, in Tacoma and we were living on the yacht and that's where it went to but we had moved to have our baby in Idaho at a midwife and uh, so we were at that address and when we went back to take care of the boat I, I ended up picking this up and I guess not realizing it but uh, it had some cute things it had uh, well I'll show you this in just a second it was just really cute it it said, Dear Ryan, happy birthday. It said, Over the years, you've become such an amazing person, confident, caring, full of love for your family and friends. That's why you're thought of with so much loving pride on your birthday and always. And he says, Thank you so much for helping to bring your father's family together. I'm glad the bishop read your talk at the funeral. It was a masterpiece. God bless you and your family. Love, Grandpa and Maureen. You know, it was just the cutest little card ever. And uh, he gave me 20 bucks I didn't even know I had, which is awesome because I had been saving a $20 bill from him, remember? From that Christmas city. And the day that he had his aneurysm, I actually spent it. We actually ran out of money and I spent it. And uh, I didn't want to after I realized he was dying and I would never get another, you know, to pass on or to just hold on to. And so it was really neat that I got it today. And uh, the most cute part of it was this cute little song I called it Little Joe the Wrangler. And uh, I'll play it for you here in just a sec. But it says... Uh, I learned this song as a youth, I thought you might like it, and I hadn't heard it before, I sure do like it, it reminds me, it reminds me of my grandpa, and my dad, I miss him so much. <laughs> He never got to meet his grandson. His days with the Ramuda, they are long. Was a year ago last April when he rode into our camp, a little Texas tree and all alone. It was late in the evening when he rode up to the herd on a little old brown pony he called Joe. And with broken shoes and overalls, a tougher looking kid you'd never in your life had ever saw. His saddle was a southern cat built many years ago, and old Casper on one foot idly hung. With his hot roll in a cotton sack and loosely tied behind, a canteen from his saddle horn was slung. He said if we would give him work he'd do the best he could, though he didn't know straight up about a cow. So the boss cut him out of mouth. My internet's not very good, so I can't play you the whole song right now, but I I recommend I recommend listening to the Don Edwards version of that song, and uh, I myself am going to learn that. I just decided today that that's, that's it. I got to learn it. I never really did get to know my grandpa very well. I always wished I had, and I was a defiant little shit when I was a kid. Still defiant never got along with, you know, my family too well, but I respect them, and I miss them a lot, and I'd always admired them. I'm a little too opinionated for my own good, but, you know, that's how it goes. So, anyway, we were just considering going to Hawaii or buying a ranch here and just working a ranch. Um, 
I think my grandpa just sent me, you know, the uh, confirmation that we're getting a ranch. You know, we had some killer things that we were thinking about in uh, Hawaii and having some fun, spending some time with the kids. But I thought, you know, between teaching my kids to go have a f have a blast, go have a you know lifelong vacation, as opposed to teaching them how to work. I don't know. I mean, it was a toss-up. It was really hard because I've always wanted to surf for a living, for, you know, a lifestyle, for a hobby, for a lifelong vacation. But I've also wanted to teach my kids the value of hard work, just like my grandpa and my dad taught me. So I'm going to learn that song, and uh, I just thank him for sending that to me. It was just yesterday, honestly. We were just talking about getting into a ranch, and then this uh, cute little card came. And uh, we were just, we we're actually just packing up. This this place is going to be retired and we're moving to a new place. And uh, so we were just packing up and we found that in our storage. Uh, my wife found it for me and just gave it to me about 10 minutes ago. And I bawled my eyes out. I still, obviously, I'm still bawling my eyes out. Anyway, that song's loaded. I'm going to play it for you. It's a cute, cute little song. Well, I like the little kid somehow. Where to learn to jingle horses and to know them one and all. To get them in by daybreak if he could. And to follow the chuck wagon and to always hitch the team. And to help the folks in their old Russell Wood. We're driven to Red River, the weather being fine. Kept out on the south side in a bend. When another commenced to blow and we doubled up our guard. It took all hands to hold the cattle in. Now little Joe the Wrangler, he was called out with the rest. Though the kid had scarcely reached the herd. When the cattle all stampeded like a hailstorm along they fled. While we... You know, I, this internet's just loading really slow, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna talk some memories about my grandpa. I remember when I was three years old, and I was spending time with grandpa. And this is when he lived on Poppy Lane in, in Sandy, Utah, and uh, he uh, had me out cutting wood with him. He had just he had just built his trailer. We built this trailer together. I was there with him. I was obviously not helping very much. I was just a little guy, but. He had just finished it. I remember he put a coat of paint on it. He painted it forest green, and then we chopped wood. And uh, after he'd chop it, I'd toss it in the uh, trailer, or I'd bring it to him so he could toss it in. And at the end of the day, I asked him, I said, Grandpa, am I a hard worker, Grandpa? And he said, yes, you are a hard worker, and I'm proud you're in my family. And he did try to keep the peace. He was such a peacemaker. Sometimes I'm... I'm more emotional, you know, and I let it show, and it gets the best of me. My grandpa had a pretty good way of keeping it together and and doing the right thing, and he was a good man, and I sure do miss him. Now I'll play the rest of this here. We were all the riding for the lead. Missed the streaks of lightning, there was one horse up ahead. It was little Joe the Wrangler in the lead. He was riding old Blue Rocket with a slicker over his head and trying to check the leaders in their speed. We'd finally got a million and kind. Oh, that's such a cute song. I wish I could play the whole thing for you, but, you know, check it out at uh, www.houseofthompson.net. Uh, we live out in the middle of nowhere, and our internet really sucks, so trying to stream this isn't working. Um, but it is such a cute song. It's called Don Edwards' Little Joe the Wrangler is the name of the song. And uh, I'll be playing it for you here in a month or two. I gotta figure it out. That's a pretty complicated little pick in there that guy's got going so I might have to make, make it a little more simple but uh, I'm going to learn how to play that song and uh, spend some quality time with the memory of my dad and my grandpa you know they inspired me on these ranch things is, you know we want to have some alfalfa basically alfalfa and some horses and uh, you know it's about time that I get to work and uh, get my hands dirty again you know I love I love doing computers I love doing what I do but to be able to you know, wake up in the morning and 
you know, spend time with all the animals and look upon your fields and see a job well done every day. I mean, really does something for your, you know, outlook on life. I've always wanted to be a rancher, whether it be a hemp farmer, ganja farmer, or alfalfa farmer. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to teach my kids how to grow alfalfa and raise cattle and horses. Peace.